Hey everyone, welcome back to day 19 of the Monkey Sessions. We have been at this for some time and I think it just keeps getting better in part because I have an amazing community like you. Today we're gonna focus a little bit on the pose we're in right now, Tadasana, and understanding how to make the most of that pose every time we hit it along a sequence. We're gonna continue to work it on our breath and today we're gonna work a little bit on side poses. So that's balancing on one arm, also called a side plank or a one-arm plank. Come into your body. We'll work through everything together. Settle into your feet. Allow yourself to arrive. And begin to breathe. Drop in. Feel the expansion of the stomach. Maybe flutter the eyes shut. Take a moment just to thank your body for doing what it does, which is lives, breathes. Place one hand on your belly, maybe your left hand. Bring your right hand up like a pocket mirror, and you know the drill. Inhale deeply. On the exhale, fog up the mirror. Inhale on the three count, three, two, one, exhale, fog it up on the three count. Three, two, one. One more time, inhale, count for yourself. And exhale, three, two, one. Good, bring your hands to the side. Let's just add in some half salutations. Inhale, sweep up, three, two, one. Work on the pacing for yourself. Exhale, forward fold, three, two, one, inhale, halfway lift, three, pull the crown forward, two, one, exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, three, two, settle in, one, inhale, sweep the arms up, three, two, one, exhale, hands to heart center, drop it down, three, two, one, this time drive all the breath through the nose, inhale, three, Two, keep the mouth closed. One, exhale, forward fold, nice and slow, in control. Two, one, inhale, halfway lift. Everything through the nose. Exhale, forcefully, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Three, two, one, exhale, hands to heart center. Three, two, one. One, last time for feeling. Inhale, sweep up. Feel that rhythm on your own time. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, fill up the belly. Exhale, squeeze it all out, forward fold. Gaze at the knees. Inhale, sweep the arms up, reach through the side body. And exhale, fog up that mirror. All right, drop the hands to the side, and as we get started today, take a look at the feet. So what are they doing? And I'm gonna use my hands as an example. When we stand in Tadasana pose, which is mountain pose, it actually isn't a resting pose. We want everything to be active and lifted. So by gazing at our feet, are they a little bit out to the side? Do you tend to stand with a wide pose? Are you a little pigeon-toed? Look at the feet and make an effort so that there's about a fist's width between the feet. You can check that. And toes are both pointing dead ahead, right? A lot of times throughout the practice, we just get into Dasa and we're like, oh, thank God I'm here. But I want us to focus today on toes being forward. Rock back and forth on your feet a little bit just to feel out the corners. Come to rest on them and pull your toes up. So your toes are reaching off the ground, shoving the ball of your foot to the ground, and the pinky toe edge also into the ground. So now we're kind of on a tripod between heel, ball, and pinky toe side. Keep lifting the toes and now engage your thighs. And as you do, feel the kneecap come up. Okay, last part. Imagine you had a cloth between your two feet and you are spreading it out to the sides. So toes are still up, knees are still engaged, and spread that fabric by trying to pull your thighs apart from each other. 
pull your shins apart from each other and pull your arches apart from each other. Okay, hold that. This isn't easy. Pull the belly in. Lift the chest up, but don't let the ribs float. Tuck them in as well. Drop your hands to the side. Reach your fingers out as much as they can go and stay for the three-part breath. Inhale, three. You might be shaking, two. One, exhale, hold it here, don't let go. Three, two, one. Okay, release and shake it out. Tadasana isn't a resting pose, it's an active pose. And I want us to get into the feeling of that. So we'll start from the head now. Lift the head up towards the sky. I'll be on my side so you can see. Pop the chest forward and then pull the ribs in. So practice that feeling of chest up, but ribs contained. Belly into the back. Feet facing dead ahead. Knees lifted. So watch your knee come up as you squeeze your thighs. Extend the hands and breathe for the three count breath. Push everything away from each other. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two. Pull the mat apart with your feet. One, hold it for just a second more. And exhale, relax. Come down to the mat. Plant your whole hand onto the earth and start to work through cat cow. So drop the belly. Inhale, bring the gaze up, lift the chin. Exhale, round the back, hollow up the belly, gaze towards your knees. Inhale, look up, sweep the gaze up. Big inhale here, fill up the belly. Exhale, come into your cat. Push the ground away, arch the back. Come into a neutral position now. Step the right hand a little bit ahead and take your right foot and just slide it out behind you. Extend the other foot and meet me here. Take a look, because that's a little complicated sequence. Your knees on the ground, your back foot is extended out, toes pointed straight ahead, and float the top arm up. And find the expansion, not just in the arms, but also in the hips. We're down on our knees, this is comfortable. Sweep the hand up and over, so bicep to ear. Stay for a breath. And on the exhale, come back to your tabletop position. Work through a round of cat cows or two, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, push the ground away. And same thing, other side. Slide the left foot out to the side. Walk the left hand just a few inches ahead of where it was. Extend the back foot to the bottom of the mat and sweep the arm up. Inhale here, reaching not just through the fingertips, but also what do you feel in the hip? What do you feel in the quads? Stay for the breath. Exhale, come back to hands and knees. Take one more round of cat-cow, this time coming up to the fingertips at the top. Inhale here. And on the exhale, push the ground away, hover the knees just an inch. Stay here. Hold this position a moment longer. Inhale. Exhale, bring it down to the ground and let's step to the top of the mat. So throughout this sequence, I want to focus more on Tadasana than we ever have before. So already as we come to the top of the mat, check in. Toes facing forward. Activate the quads and the thighs. Pull the ground between the feet away, activate the chest. In this whole sequence, whenever we arrive in Tadasana, activate that, all right? Let's do it together. Easing in, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees. Get the hip points up any way you can, including being kind to your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center, activate your body in Tadasana. Now you're getting the hang of it. Okay, inhale, sweep up. 
Exhale, forward fold. Three, two, one. Inhale, halfway lift. Three, two, one. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back. Three, two, settle into it. One. Inhale, gaze ahead, lift the chest. Exhale, push back into your downward facing dog. Three, give yourself time, this one's slow. Two, one. Inhale, rock forward to the top of the mat. Three, two, one. And we'll repeat this. Push back into downward facing dog. Three, two, one. Inhale, rock forward. Three, two, one. Exhale, push back. Three, two, one. Push the ground away. Remember our down dog work from last week. Exhale, plant the knees. Right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift the back foot, gaze ahead. Exhale, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, push the ground away with your feet, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center, engage the Tadasana. Right? Pull your feet apart from each other, even though they are perfectly still. Inhale, sweep up, three, two, one. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, three, two, one. Inhale, halfway lift, pull the crown away from the butt. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back, come into a low lunge. Inhale, bring the gaze and the chest forward. Exhale, step back into a downward facing dog. And let's slowly fire up our body, rocking on the three count. Inhale, three, two, one. Top of push-up position. Exhale, three, two, one. Downward dog. Inhale, rock forward, three, good. Two, feel the whole hand, one. Settle into your body. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, rock forward, three, two, one, broaden the shoulder blades, stay here for just an extra moment. Exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Drop the knees, left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, pop up the back knee, gaze ahead, chest up. Exhale, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend over yourself. Inhale, sweep the arms up, three. Nice and slow, two, one, feel it in the side body. Exhale, hands to heart center and engage in Tadasana. All right, let's build on that. Whew. Getting warm here. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. We'll add a little bit to the pacing. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back. Get stable here. Light on the hands, inhale, sweep up into your crescent lunge. Just like in Tadasana, engage the belly. Reach through the arms, side body space. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, roll to the top of the mat on your own pacing, and let's progress the body down. So drop the knees, thighs, hips. Slowness is where we build. Belly, ribs, Inhale, float the palms behind you. If you like, float the feet as well. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, push back into your downward facing dog. And what we learned last week, float the right foot behind you. And on the inhale, big step forward to the top of the mat between the hands. Get level here. Inhale, sweep up into your crescent lunge. Feel it in the hip, I know I do. Stay for the breath. Exhale, hands down, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, stretch out the back, fire it up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, reach. Exhale, hands to heart center, but dial in that Tadasana. Fire up the legs, the belly. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back. 
Knee over ankle. Inhale, sweep up, crescent lunge. Check in with the belly, the back leg. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, slowly like a wave, up to the top of the mat. And follow the progression, drop knees, thighs, hips, belly, ribs, Inhale, sweep the arms behind you, float the feet, maybe touch the toes, stay for the breath. Exhale, plant the hands back into downward facing dog. Push the ground away, float the left leg up behind you, and big step forward, plant it between the hands. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Crescent lunge. Oh, it's so cool to watch you guys do that every time. Stay for the breath. Exhale, plant the hands, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Push the ground away, sweep the arms up, and already engage those legs. Exhale, hands to heart center, Tadasana. Pulling the thighs apart. One more round. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, that's okay. Inhale, halfway lift, engage the back. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back, knee down. Inhale, sweep up, Anjaneyasana. But what is the back foot doing? Drive it into the earth. Inhale through the side body. Find length in the whole system. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into downward facing dog. Lift the hip creases. Inhale, rock to your push up position. Exhale, chaturanga, or bring your belly to the ground. Inhale, baby cobra, or come up into upward facing dog. Stay for the breath. Exhale, work your way back into downward facing dog. Push the ground away, raise the right foot up behind you. Stay for the breath. Wart rocket forward, place it between the hands. Back knee down. Inhale, sweep up, Anjaneyasana. I feel it in that left hip every time. Stay for the breath. Straighten out the arms ahead. Exhale, plant feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Engage that Tadasana. Let's move forward. Inhale, arms up. Even you out. Exhale, forward fold. Bend over your body. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot back, knee down. Inhale, sweep up, Anjaneyasana. This time, think about what's going on in your front toes. Are they helping? Are they hurting? I, I don't know. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward to the top of push up position. Exhale, Chaturanga or belly to the mat. Inhale, upward dog or baby cobra, your choice. Exhale, push back into downward dog. Sweep the left foot up behind you. Exhale, place it between the hands. Back knee down. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Tuck the belly just like in Tadasana. The poses are all related, that's the thing. Exhale, plant the hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, audible breath. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. One more chance to fire up that Tadasana. So, engage the thighs. Engage the hips. Pull the belly into the spine. And now add breath on top of it. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, fog up the mirror. Three, two, one. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. And hop or walk yourself back into a downward facing dog. Push the ground away. Thighs towards the back of the room in a way you haven't felt yet. And just check in with how this down dog feels different than when we started the class. Inhale, right leg up behind you. 
Exhale, step it to the top of the mat. This time, drop the back heel. Get light on the hands. And inhale, sweep up into your warrior two. Good. Check in on the knee. Is it exactly over the ankle? Make your adjustments. Exhale, side angle pose. Rest the forearm on the thigh. Find space in the entire distance from the heel to the tip of the finger. Inhale, come back into your warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down and step into your plank pose. Okay, get strong in plank pose. Walk your right hand forward about a half a hand's length. Drop your foot, your right foot to its side and bring the left foot just in front of it. Sweep the arm up. So we have made our way on the right side into side plank. Stay for the breath. Stack the feet for an additional challenge or maybe even float the leg. Inhale, three. This one's tough, two. One, hold for the exhale, three, two, one. Come back into your plank position. Exhale, chaturanga or to the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, back into downward dog. I'm dripping. Okay, left foot, sweep it up. Exhale, step it to the top of the mat. I'm gonna switch sides so you can see. Get light on the hands, round the back heel down, Inhale up into warrior two. Exhale, plant the forearm, sweep up and over, finding space, a single line between your heel and your fingertips. Inhale back into warrior two. Cartwheel the hands down to the ground, step back into a plank pose. Now with the other side, walk the left hand forward just a smidge, Drop the outside edge of the left foot to the ground and use your right foot for stability. Inhale, sweep the arm up, dead to the ceiling. Stack the feet and see if you can keep balance there or float that back foot up just to the hip. Inhale, three, two, one. Stay for the exhale, three, two, one. Bring everything down into plank pose. Push the ground away, expand the back. Exhale, lower to the ground or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Hold it here. Come back to the knees. And find yourself into child's pose. Rock out the hips. Get the sweat off your forehead. Come forward. And let's find ourselves on our forearms. We'll do what are called sphinx roll-ups or forearm roll-ups. So your elbow is directly under the shoulder. Push the whole hand into the ground. So much of the thing that links poses together is the way that they're related by taking advantage of the ground that we have by pushing into everything. So. We've been here before. Engage the belly. Lift the hips off the ground. And when you have a good bit of distance, pull the knees towards the elbows. Stay for the inhale. Three, two, one. Hold it for the exhale. Three, two, one. Inhale, sweep up. And just like in your cow pose, drop the belly, find some space gaze towards the sky. One more time. Arch the back. Lift the belly and the ribs, the hips. Pull the knees and the elbows together, but hold your whole hand on the floor. Inhale. Three, two, one. Exhale. Three, two, one. Pop up on the toes for added challenge forearm plank. Inhale. Three, two. Hold on to it. One, Exhale, stick with it. Three, two, one. Drop everything, inhale. Take a nice deep breath here. Exhale, push back into your child's pose. Rock back and forth on the hips. Maybe walk your hands out a little bit in front of you. 
Flip onto your back. Rock yourself around. Work out any of the little bits that maybe you felt you wanted to say hi to but didn't have a chance. Squeeze everything in. Forearms to shins. Nose to knees. Double the intensity. And on the exhale, let it all go. Shavasana. Feel yourself sinking to the floor. Feel the hum of your body after work well done. We are just at the top of the hour. You're welcome to stay in Shavasana as long as you like or come up and close out the class with me. This week we'll be focusing on finding new inspiration in poses that maybe we had written off before, like Tadasana. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week, the only way to grow this thing is by word of mouth, so please tell a friend. And if you're not on the mailing list, make sure you did. Fill out the survey, it's my main way to figure out what comes next. Details will be coming on how to book next week, uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that. All right, thanks everyone.